my best friend and i are opening up a vintage store in miami and so far we've gotten the keys and we got some boxes delivered by my beautiful boyfriend that was storing them in his store because we had nowhere to put them we also bought this ted a ted sofa that i've been looking for so long that this amazing human source for us she found it on facebook market i reached out to the seller and they asked us to come at 11 p.m it was a little sketchy but listen it was there it was real and it was huge i just kept saying that i look like ginormous cheese wheel because it literally does and it was so big that i almost didn't fit in the van it's literally six feet but we secured the sofa and some donuts and when i got home our business credit cards were delivered and i was so happy it literally says peace Tree revival on the card now anyway back to the sofa we're actually getting a reupholstered i do love the cowhide but unfortunately it doesn't match the design we're doing for the store so we started looking through all these fabrics and we ended up choosing this amazing pink shade i'm not gonna lie i kind of wanted to do blue but this pink is amazing and now we need to choose the tassels what do you guys think today we're getting a lot of custom things done so welcome back to part two of decorating our vintage store this is phoebe she's my new full-time assistant she got us copies of the keys and our first meeting today is with this lovely couple who makes custom woodwork so the layout of the space is a little complicated because there are these two massive columns so we decided that we're gonna make a custom oval counter that wraps around the columns it's definitely gonna be very different but the cool thing is that it's gonna be the center of the entire store so you can kind of like check out on either side then we drove an hour away to meet up with a custom welder and he completely ditched us like he just left and didn't even wait for us so we did some research and we found this amazing human his name's enzo he came in the next morning and he does custom metal work so we just sat there and explained all of our ideas and he just explained the whole process to us and he loved our ideas and he said he's gonna make all of this come to life so i'm very excited about that next up we had a little team meeting to decide on the final aesthetic of the store so we chose all the wallpapers and what's going inside the fitting rooms there were so many good wallpaper options but i also wanted to use my own wallpaper so we decided on this and we're doing green and blue for the custom counter then i proceeded to try to teach phoebe how to measure a ceiling without the tape falling on you and i thought we had it but then she put her head on the wall <laughs> and the last thing we're doing today is designing the storefront sign they sent us back these options we have no idea what we're doing but stay tuned for part four so this is what the store looked like before there was a bunch of kitchenettes from the store that was here before but we're going to be taking down this main wall and we're also going to be taking down this wall inside this room and half of this wall because that'll just make the entire store feel so much bigger this is what the store looked like when they gave us the keys we took out the laminate wooden floors as well and painted it all white the next step was to find a contractor and we had three meetings with three different ones the first contractors we spoke to said it would take them about two weeks to take down two and a half walls and put up one and a half walls and quoted us about nine thousand dollars which was really over budget for us now this is Jose. this is the second contractor we spoke to and i'm not saying i hired him for his vibes but his vibes are amazing and he said he could get all of this done within four to five days and his quote was under five thousand dollars which was great for us so the morning we came in phoebe and i really wanted to break down a wall and so we tried but it was not working it's so much harder than it looks so we just let the professionals do that and we all just had a team meeting and ordered all the remaining items that were missing for the store we sat down for an hour and the next thing i knew this entire wall was completely gone and it felt like a completely different store there's still lots to do like the bathroom renovation which i'm really excited to show you guys so today's activities consist of making a whole in the cement floors we literally need to pass a cord through the floor into the center of the store because we're going to be wrapping the counter around these columns and there are no outlets in the middle it's probably one of the craziest things i've gotten done as a decorator but i'm very excited and then phoebe and i had a little meeting outside and i had to figure out the rest of the measurements for their wallpaper we're printing in the store we have around 200 panels of wallpaper coming in and i'm very excited to show you guys and then we had to fix this little crusty situation we're relocating the ac unit to another spot because it doesn't look aesthetic and also there was water leaking so it just it had to go this is what our storefront looks like it's currently great but don't you worry it's not gonna stay like that alex was hyping up all the cars that were beeping at us and we bought some sponges and filled it up with some water and we were just cleaning the storefront and prepping it all so we can start painting it tomorrow the last little thing that we have going on is this office obviously we're gonna wipe everything out we're taking out all the wires and we're gonna revamp this space so we can have a cute little office today's demolition day and we did hire contractors so don't you worry we knew what we were doing and honestly to break down a wall was the biggest workout i've ever done in my entire life so we kind of gave up and we went ahead and started on bathroom renovation this is our contractor jose he's literally the best he was teaching us all the tricks and hacks and if you guys need a contractor in miami please hit them up we got started on taking off all the old tile inside the bathroom i put on my little glasses and we got to work this actually was very time consuming and it took us the entire day sarah's arm was spazzing out so she had to take a break and phoebe was on her own and she did so much like she got so much done seeing all the tiles on the floor made me so happy because i just can't wait to put in the new tiles they're gonna be pink and it's gonna be amazing while we were doing that the professionals were taking down this wall which we actually tried breaking down ourselves and it was not working and look at that they make it look so easy but it really isn't taking this wall out just made the entire store so much bigger and it just flows so much better next up our first boxes arrived i am so excited about this we got so many and guess what's inside of them Four thousand hangers <laughs> this morning when we arrived jose and his guys were already crushing it they were building the fitting rooms and fixing up the walls we tear down also watching them plaster the walls is legit the most satisfying thing ever that phoebe almost started crying then we headed out to start painting this is what the store 
storefront currently looks like and sarah and i literally risked it all so we could get these videos we almost got smushed by miami traffic but phoebe and sarah actually chose this color it's very fun and it reminds me of that miami retro vibe which i love and we actually painted my boyfriend's film lab a similar color a few weeks ago and jose came to save the day once again he brought out his ladder and he helped us get to the second floor because we had no idea how we were gonna do this i was actually so scared but apparently sarah and jose are fearless and don't care about heights so i had to put on my big girl pants and go through with this we got to painting and then i almost passed out of how hot it was so phoebe saved us with some water and sandwiches and we finally finished the first layer we still have to do touch-ups but it's cute and i can't wait to show you guys the custom sign we got today's video is going to be a little different because we're having a photo shoot for the store we brought all of our favorite items and sarah and i are styling the photo shoot and my boyfriend is actually shooting it this is my first look it's giving disco night but also like a retro workout vibe and i really really love it bello's basically my personal photographer and i'm just so happy i get to do this with my best friend and just the most amazing team ever gina and joe are doing our hair and makeup and everything is looking so good they're just so talented i used to be in the film industry and i literally never thought i would be in front of the camera i never wanted to be in front of the camera and look at us now this is so crazy this was my favorite look of us look at sarah she looks so good with the rollers and we took some friend pics and we changed into the second look and it was a very casual 90s look and we got to shoot it on this vintage slip chair which is absolutely iconic and i want this in my house also if you're in miami you guys have to come to the studio it's the coolest studio i've ever been to i'll tag them down below and our last outfit was this prom inspired look i literally never went to prom so i'm living my prom dreams with sarah <laughs> this was literally the aftermath of her hair but stay tuned to see the pictures when i came in they were already sanding down all the walls that they had built and finished and they're also creating the new fitting room plus is our contractor and we love him and he was explaining to us that he didn't find any of the archway kits so he said that he spent a little bit longer doing this by hand but he got it done because he's amazing and it looks so great and i told him that now he's a certified diy and he has to open up a tiktok for us then we sat down looking through all your resumes for a little bit and the fitting rooms were done sarah and i really wanted to make this vintage store a whole experience and that really meant having nice fitting rooms there's nothing worse than buying secondhand or being in a vintage store and you're overwhelmed with all the items and then the fitting rooms are really tight and tiny so we made them big enough so you would feel comfy and they're also wheelchair accessible they covered up the hole that they made on the floor in order to make an outlet for the counter that's going to go in the middle of the store and then nalu stepped on it with her little paws she's just so cute she has no idea what she did but now we're gonna have her paw forever engraved in our store and it makes me so happy then nalu inspired me to write sarah's and my name on it and stay tuned to see the flooring we're actually going to be putting in the store i'm opening up a vintage store in miami and so far we've done a lot but today's going to be kind of like a slow day we've been at the store almost every single day doing renovations so we came back to my house to do some computer work and we're also organizing the grand opening so stay tuned for that we should be opening at the end of march so we have a full 20 days to finish everything then phoebe went to go meet mitchie's or of holster she brought the wallpaper which is absolutely gorgeous it's actually that fabric you see on the bottom and phoebe was showing me all the fabric samples she liked for the curtains and the fitting rooms and i think we're gonna go with a blue or a green then phoebe's headed over back to my house so we could discuss everything we actually have four different wallpapers that are going inside the store we're doing a lot of colors and different patterns and i'm very excited to show you guys everything come together we should be putting up the wallpaper this coming week so please stay tuned because it's gonna be very cool today the pink tile that's going in the bathroom finally arrived and jose was literally giving us all a little one on one tutorial on how to properly put tile in a bathroom it literally looked like we were all in class it was so cute and next thing you know jose is halfway done with the bathroom he was saying how he doesn't like how the tiles aren't leveled but i kept telling him that that was the look and it looks so good then i got the best email of my entire life our welder told us that the clothing racks are finished they just need to be painted we also received some of the things that are going in the goodie bags for the opening this beautiful artist sent us some coloring books and i'm obsessed with her stuff and today's final task to be completed was this room jesus it's rough in here we want to completely transform this back room into an office we can all work in it definitely just needs a little bit of work but i see the vision and we're gonna do this we bought lots of paint got our supplies and started sanding all of the wood i know it's seriously cancel culture when people paint over wood but this room is so awful we must paint it all color is the only thing that can save this room sarah came to help for a little and we cleaned up and this is what we got done today but tomorrow we're finishing this room so stay tuned this morning when we arrived we started unboxing things this is a sink pedestal and the super cute faucet we got the actual sink is completely shattered but at least the handle fits we have to wait on them to send a new one so we're a little delayed on that but at least we were able to grout everything and it looks so great Bo dropped us some food and look at nalu they're so cute and it's really important to me that we finish the back rooms as well we chose this blue for the table it's one of my favorite blues and it's so soothing next up is this light pink that's going on the walls color makes me so happy and this is the first time i have an office so we're going full out it got super messy we finished for the night and came back the next morning determined to at least finish the painting first i had to do a quick sketch of the custom mirror we're going to be making for the bathroom can you guess what it is <laughs> then we mopped the floor in the office and got rid of all the leftover cables from the last tenants i was low-key scared i'd cut the wrong wire but we figured it out started the first layer of the wood sealer and we finally started painting the floor this room is really a trust the process moment we need to get rid of that horrid ceiling fan asap add furniture and decor and i promise it'll look good so stay tuned i went to pick up bello's van to run errands and sarah 
her FaceTime me and she was freaking out because her peach tree sign was on our storefront. And the thing is that the sign company ghosted us three weeks ago when we sent the deposit. So we swore we got scammed. And I promise you, this sign wasn't here yesterday in the day. So these people had to have come in incognito in the middle of the night and installed it. We still haven't heard back and nothing makes sense. But I guess I can't be mad because we have a sign. Anyway, I picked up Tay and Sarah from Home Depot and we headed back to the store. We unloaded everything and Sarah and Tay built the scaffold so fast. I was incredibly impressed. And before I knew it, Tay was already killing it. She really did not come here to mess around. Look at her. She's so cute with her little overalls and glasses. By the way, Tay's an artist and I found her on social media like two years ago because I was obsessed with her art. I showed Bello and I told him I wanted to commission a piece from her. And what a small world because Bello knew her from high school. So anyway, fast forward to now, we're all friends and we commissioned her to paint a mural on her ceiling. And I'm just extremely grateful that she wanted to be a part of this and I can't wait for her to finish. This is her yesterday getting started on the mural. She's so cute. And today she came in early because she only has two days to complete this because she's going on a trip. While she set up, I came to the inventory room to organize. It's an absolute disaster, but a work in progress. Somehow last night, a small section of our inventory room got flooded and there was a box filled with inventory and got completely soaked. It really could have been so much worse, but they weren't stained and I just took them out to dry and clean them and they are okay. This back room is overflowing with boxes. I can't wait until everything is clean so we can organize it. Then Tay asked me to come to the front to see what she was painting and look how cute. She's making little flowers in the corners. It looks so good and the pink adds so much. And then I made this template for the custom butterfly mirror that we're making for the bathroom. And just like that, Tay was completely done with the mural. I can't believe she got this done in two days. She absolutely killed it. I love how she took something really traditional and made it into something very fun and whimsical. It's exactly what I love. And look at my new cat. His name's Elmo. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Everyone got here super early this morning to clean and prep the floors. Jose is back with his team and he was happy to see Nalu. While the floors were being prepped, we were painting the rest of the ceiling and the fitting room's pink. Then it was time. The flooring we bought is a little different. It's basically like a huge sheet of wallpaper that's going on the floor. The only thing is that it weighs more than my car. While they were doing that, we used this time to prep the walls since we're installing wallpaper tomorrow. And we also want to paint these columns green. Then it was time to install the first piece. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. This material is so strange. It's like stretchy vinyl. This is really similar to getting carpet installed. But when we ordered this, I was not expecting for the material to be like this. It's not bad. It's just odd. Then they began to put all the glue down and it was so satisfying. And if Phoebe was here, she would be literally crying. The last step was to use this crazy metal roller to roll out all the bubbles from the glue. And now our store looks completely different. This is literally a dream come true. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. We're finally putting up the wallpaper. The craziest part is that we're using my very own wallpaper collection I did with Tay in Auto Studio. And we're using so much of it. This roll is huge and there's two of these. And remember our bathroom? We finally got the lights installed and tomorrow they're installing this cute little sink. Then we brought out the best purchase of my entire life, the scaffolding. Why doesn't anyone talk about how much easier it is to decorate with the scaffold? It was also as expensive as buying a brand new ladder, so I don't care what you guys say, I'm canceling ladders from now on. We're using a lot of different wallpapers in the store, but the main wall is my Queen of Hearts print in yellow, which makes me so happy. Then my cutie best friend Salome came in to help us finish painting the back area pink. She's an angel, and while that was happening, I was just fully dedicated to finishing this wallpaper. I've been installing this wallpaper for almost six hours, which is insane. Guys, as soon as I was about to finish, we ran out of wallpaper. Like, I kid you not, we're missing just this tiny little section. Anyway, it was 2 a.m., and we were exhausted, but also really hyper. I don't know what was going on, but we weren't done yet. We had to clean up and seal the entire floor, and now tomorrow we have to do a second coat. When we got to the store this morning, it was cool to see the wallpaper we installed last night in good lighting. And our tete tete was delivered. We got the sofa reupholstered, and this is what it looked like before, and I think it was the best decision we ever made. This is the wallpaper that's going in the fitting rooms. It's been a dream to open up a vintage clothing store, but it's been an even bigger dream to be able to use my very own wallpaper collection in my store. It literally doesn't feel like real life, and it's all thanks to you guys. So this is the cake print for my wallpaper collection, and I thought it was perfect for our fitting rooms. I've been wanting to use it ever since we designed it. The day is finally here, and Jose is installing our new vanity and faucet in the bathroom, and look at it! It's so cute! Next up is to cover this entire wall with wallpaper. This is her, this is she, the coolest print I've ever seen. And it's real wallpaper, so we're doing this the old-fashioned way. We have to prep the walls and cover them with glue and then paste the paper on there. In my opinion, it's so much easier to put up compared to peel and stick wallpaper, which is kind of wild. It took us forever to do half the wall, but stay tuned because tomorrow we're installing a conveyor belt. The company we bought the conveyor belt from arrived bright and early to the store and they got to it. They assembled the whole thing in 30 minutes, drilled it in, and added the button. The magical button that I want to press so bad. Phoebe brought out a clothing piece with a hanger so we could measure the distance so the clothes don't hit the wall when they're rotating. And the entire time, I was just so eager to finally be able to click this button and see it rotate for the first time. I actually screamed. <laughs> 
I've never been so happy in my entire life. Anyway, yesterday we installed this gorgeous wallpaper on the main wall, and today we have to finish wallpapering all the walls since our clothing racks are getting installed tomorrow morning. You've so far seen three different wallpapers in the store, and this is the fourth. She's cute, she's simple, we love her, and it's actually also from Auto Studio. While I was wallpapering this wall, the gals were wallpapering the wall in front, which is actually the same wallpaper as the entrance. You guys, we've been wallpapering for three days straight now, and we're exhausted, but it's totally worth it. We finished for the night, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because our curvy clothing racks are getting installed. Enzo arrived first thing in the morning with all the clothing racks and I almost passed out when I saw the main squiggle rack. It's so cool. We went over installation and how they were made because it's just so interesting and I can't believe a human being made these. Welding is seriously so underrated. We first installed the main rack. It's 20 feet and it's ginormous. It looks so trippy and I really don't know how else to describe it. It just looks so out of the ordinary. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually an interior decorator and I do this a lot so it's cool to always see my ideas come to life but to be honest, this one was really different. I'm opening this door with my best friend and so it was really cool to merge our ideas together. We wanted to create this magical wonderland where you can explore fashion as well as enjoy design. Anyway, I'm getting carried away, but the clothing racks look so good. And finally, in the entrance, we added a rack on the ceiling and the floor. It's crazy how adding a small detail like the curves can make such a big difference. Then we organized and moved everything around so we could start painting the columns. It makes me so happy because we seriously aren't leaving any white walls in this space. And today was the first morning with our new staff and they're the cutest gals ever. We went over the basics and got started on the inventory. The grand opening is the 31st, which is less than a week, so this is wild. There's so much to do. All of the clothes is carefully hand-selected by Sarah and I, so there's so many different styles and sizes for everyone and so many things we want to keep, but we can't. Then we, of course, made TikToks with the staff, so now they're official TikTokers, and we posted the video we're filming here on our Patreon account. You guys can go see it. It's so cute. So we're actually color-coding all the clothes because I do that in my closet, and it gives me some weird peacefulness that I need in my life. And this is just for training purposes. We're obviously going to start selling our summer stuff first because no one needs a coat right now in Miami. Then we got back to inventory, and there's just so much going on because while that was going on, we were also decorating. The counter got delivered, and I was so excited. But unfortunately, the epoxy got ruined on top of the counter, and now the entire countertop needs to get done all over again. So right now, we only have the base in the store, but it's so cool. And finally, we got these shelves installed. I actually got them customized for all of our purses, and stay tuned for more updates. So far, we've installed new lights in the front of the store. They're definitely not the prettiest, but they are great considering how dark it is in the store. Next, we fixed the inventory room. We got rid of all the old furniture and organized everything so we could have a good workflow. Then we registered inventory. A lot of it. All of these boxes are from our wholesalers, and there's so much clothes inside. Our wholesalers source for us, and we we hand select the finalized items that come into the store and it's actually really cool because most of these items are coming from all over the world like london milan and little places in the u.s like georgia oh my god and we also got our little peach tree tag let me explain really quick we're actually having a small opening for friends and family tomorrow which is why this is a disaster but i know we will make it on time the actual grand opening is this friday and it's open to anyone so if you're in miami please stop by it'll be so much fun and finally the rest of the countertop was installed and it looks so good i've been decorating my dream vintage clothing store in miami with my best friend for the past few weeks and we finally had the grand opening Opening. When we got to the store the morning of, we just made sure everything was organized and ready to go. This beautiful human set up the prettiest flowers ever and we had goodies like these Bellows disposables to give out for free. People stopped by as soon as the doors opened and they showed so much support and love for Peachtree. We also have this cute little section with small designer items and everything is so cute. Then I got my hair and makeup done before everyone arrived for the party at 6. We had a little bar set up with free drinks and it made me so happy to see all my friends there. And then I found out that this is what the line looked like outside and I couldn't believe it. I was in total disbelief. The line wrapped around the block and it stayed like this until we closed. And we invited Santa Dulce Churros to come and give everyone in line and at the event free churros. Which, by the way, they're delicious. We had so many goodies and the store was full all night. I literally had to step back at one point and process everything that was happening this night because I'm in shock and I'm just so grateful for everyone's love and support. We also celebrated our best friend's birthday and it was overall such a special night. It was also so cool to meet such artsy and kind souls at the store and just thank you to everyone who came out. But also thank you guys for following along on here. I love you guys so much. We're finally open, so I'm going to give you guys a tour. When you first walk in, you see the bench and shoe rack, which actually needs to be stocked up and then you have these squiggle clothing racks with a bunch of clothes on them. The counter is in the center of the entire space, so we actually have a little hidden door that opens and closes and makes it really easy to get in. Next up is my favorite wall. It's the squiggle rack with this amazing wallpaper. And then we have this little corner in the back, which I'm going to be filling up with home decor. And this is the bathroom. She's cute and she's fun and you wouldn't believe what it looked like before. Now we're heading to the back of the store. We have this amazing round sofa that we got reupholstered and all of the clothing racks. These were made by Gabriella Noel Studios and she's absolutely amazing. And finally in the back where the fitting rooms are, we have all these purses and accessories. And we actually got these custom shells for shoes and the flower mirror that i actually diy'd and i have one in my house i just want to mention we have a small designer section and everything is so cute and the fitting rooms are my favorite part they have my custom cake wallpaper with the custom racks that gabby made for us and they're just so fun like this is literally a dream come true actually i take that back i think this is my favorite part the conveyor belt it's absolutely amazing and you guys have to stop by because we're finally open and nalu will always be here to greet you guys so please stop by